We never travel fast enough to see the Doppler effect for light, but we often travel fast enough to hear it. And so I have brought with me the world's most annoying noise on a string, and I'm gonna turn it on, and then I'm gonna make it come toward you and make it go away from you. And I want you to pay particular attention to what happens as the noisemaker approaches, and then as it goes away again. That's pretty annoying, right? So when it comes toward you, now, 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 it sounds different than when it goes away from you, now, 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 now. So what did you hear? As it approached you, you heard a higher pitch, and as it went away from you, you heard a lower pitch. Well, the same thing happens for light, that it gets shifted to a higher frequency when it comes towards you, that is, the light becomes bluer, and it gets shifted to a lower frequency as it goes away from you, that is, the light becomes redder. And so, what does this have to do with astronomy? Well, pretend that my right hand is a planet, and my left hand is a star. My head is the center of mass of these two objects. So the planet is out here and the star is right here, the center of mass, very close to the star. So now as these objects orbit, they're gonna orbit the center of mass, each of them. So watch what happens as they move. So you can see that the planet and the star, here comes the star toward you and away from you and toward you and away from you. If you were to watch the spectrum of that star, you would see the star get blue shifted as it comes toward you and red shifted as it moves away from you. The very first planets around other stars were discovered this way. 